Last video, we considered atomic mass and atomic number. This video, we want to consider charge for any element, where X represents any chemical element symbol. First, we need to realize that every atom is neutral. So oxygen, as you see in the periodic chart, carries a charge of zero. Sodium, another element on the periodic chart, carries a charge of zero. Now that's not to say that atoms can't carry charge. For example, oxygen sometimes will carry a minus two charge, and sodium might carry a positive one charge. So we now need to differentiate elements from their charged counterparts. Anytime an element carries a charge, it is said to be an ion. And there are two flavors of ions. There are positive charged ions, as you can see with sodium ion there. And there are negative charged species, such as oxide. An ion that carries a positive charge is called a cation. And an ion which carries a negative charge is called an anion. So how is it that the charges come about? In essence, they come about by either losing electrons or gaining electrons. In this particular case, oxygen became a minus two charge because it gained two electrons. So that stands to reason oxide ion has two more electrons than an atom of oxygen. Likewise, sodium, which went to a positive one charge, must have lost one electron. Sodium ion has one less electron than an atom of sodium. And now you see the essence of how charge is formed. Negative charge is formed by gaining an electron, positive charge by losing an electron. So let's consider a few questions. How many electrons are in an atom of sulfur? If we look on the periodic chart, we see that sulfur has an atomic number of 16. That is to say, it has 16 protons, and since each proton carries a charge of plus 1, we know sulfur carries a positive 16 charge. Since we have determined that elemental sulfur has a charge of 0, it stands to reason that 16 electrons must be present. Mathematically, we observe that the number of protons minus the number of electrons is equal to the charge. Let's do another one. How many electrons does sulfide ion carry? First, we need to know the atomic number. For sulfur, that is 16. So we can rationalize that if we carry a negative 2 charge, there must be two more electrons than there are protons. And so if there are 16 protons, there must be 18 electrons. Let's consider barium ion. How many electrons are there in this chemical species? Looking at the periodic chart, we can see that barium has 56 protons. Now because it carries a positive 2 charge, it means there must be two more protons than there are electrons which means there must be 54 electrons. To show that mathematically, C was 56, there's 54 electrons, and so when we subtract those, indeed, we get a positive 2. By the way, when you do write the charge on an ion, the charge is shown after the number. This is still pronounced minus 2, or barium with a plus 2 charge, but the 2 is nevertheless written after the number. Here's a different question. We have a chemical species that has 26 protons and it has 24 electrons. What is the chemical species? Well, first we look for the chemical species that has an atomic number of 26. And we look on the periodic chart and we see that that is iron. Now we need to figure out whether that iron is positive or negative, or is it just charge neutral? We see this chemical species has 24 electrons and 26 protons. 
So this species is called iron 2 ion. Does our math bear this out? The number of protons is equal to 26 and the number of electron is equal to 24. Indeed, I come up with a positive 2 charge for that species. Oh, to jump back up here right quick, does our math bear this one out? We had 16 protons sub minus, we had 18 electrons, and 16 minus 18 is minus 2. So we are very consistent whether we use a logical sequence or whether we use a math equation. Finally, let's work one more. Let's assume we have a chemical species. We don't know what it is, but we do know that it has a negative 3 charge. And we also know that it has 18 electrons. What is that chemical species? If we have 18 electrons, we know because there's a negative 3 charge, we must have 3 more electrons than protons or three less protons than electrons, which means we have a total of 15 protons. And the element with 15 protons can be seen from the periodic chart to be phosphorus. And so the chemical species is phosphorus with a minus three charge, which is known as phosphide ion. Does our math check out on this one? We have 15 protons and we have 18 electrons and that gives us a minus three and indeed the charges match up. So there's the summary of the three main types of chemical species we're going to have when we talk about atoms. We have charge neutral species, we have positive species known as cations, or we might have negative species known as anions.